Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We shared Android 12 Developer Preview 3, which includes an improved app launch experience with new splash screen APIs, a new call style template to create notifications for incoming, outgoing, and screened calls, a new user managed permission for exact alarms, improved web linking, expanded tools for rich haptic experiences, video encoding improvements, camera to vendor extensions, and quad bay or camera sensor support, improved performance and updatable drivers for ML accelerators for the neural networks API, the deprecation of render script APIs in favor of cross-platform GPU compute solutions such as Vulkan and OpenGL, better native crash reporting, and more flexible backup configurations. Check out all the details on the post. We added auto-migration between database schema versions in Android Jetpack's Room Architecture component 2.4.0 Alpha 01. Just add auto-migrations annotation parameters, and as long as you're exporting your schema, Room will automatically generate migrations for simple cases like column addition, removal, or new tables. There are still cases in which auto-migration is not possible, so head on over to the post for more information on this highly requested feature. We announced support for PHP in Cloud Functions. With the Functions framework for PHP, you can write idiomatic PHP functions to build business critical applications and integration layers. And with Cloud Functions for PHP now available in Preview, you can deploy functions in a fully managed PHP 7.4 environment, complete with access to resources in a private VPC network. Check out the post for more information on PHP's arrival in Cloud Functions. Google Cloud Doc.ai platform, Lending Doc.ai, and Procurement Doc.ai are now generally available. Doc.ai platform provides a unified console for document processing, lets you quickly access all parsers and tools, allowing you to automate and validate documents to streamline workflows, reduce guesswork, and keep data accurate and compliant. Find out more on the post. Chrome 91, now in beta, includes many DevTools improvements, including a Web Vitals information pop-up in the performance panel, a toggleable scroll snap badge in the elements panel to inspect CSS scroll snap alignment, a memory inspector for JavaScript array buffers, as well as WebAssembly memory, badge display customization in the elements panel, enhanced image previews with aspect ratio information, a network conditions button with options to configure content encodings, a shortcut to view computed values in the styles pane, and much more. The post has all the details. Angular v12 will deprecate the legacy Vue Engine compilation and rendering pipeline. Libraries dependent on Vue Engine will continue to work as expected by the NGCC compatibility compiler. If you're a library author or interested in understanding technical details, head on over to the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Better native crash reporting and more flexible backup configurations. Check out all the details on the post.